Hi everyone, welcome to the tree weaving program here at the Lake Village District Library. This is a DIY kit program and if you signed up for the program you'll have this kit right here. But if you don't have the kit, feel free to craft along with us. I'm going to show you everything that you're going to need to make this fun tree weaving plate. So let's dig into this kit. On the flip side of this paper are the instructions in case you want to follow along with the instructions, but I'm going to show you how to put this together in this video. So in the kit, you're going to get a few things, starting with a plate. So you'll have a plate, a foam brush, and some paint in blue and green. You're going to have some yarn, some green and brown yarn. And then lastly, you'll get a plastic darning needle and some colorful flower buttons. So let's get into the project. We're going to start out by painting our plate. So as you see here, I have blue for the sky and green for the grass. So let me get some paper towels to put under my work surface. And we're going to open up these little cups. And I think I'll start with the green. You can start with the sky or the grass first, whichever you'd like. So I'm gonna put a little bit on this foam brush and just start painting. I'm going to paint half of it green and half of it blue for the sky. You don't want to put too much paint down, otherwise it'll take a lot longer to dry. But as you can see, I'm just putting green and covering the plate completely. You don't need to worry about the backside, but just the front of the plate. I get in all of the little nooks and crannies on the side of the plate. And this is tempera paint. So if you get it on your clothes or on your hands, it's very easy to wash out. Okay, there we go. We got about half of it in green. And I'm going to take the same paper plate or same brush. And I'm just going to wipe off the green paint so we can continue painting. If you want, you can take it to the sink and wash it out. But I'm just going to get most of the paint off with this paper towel. Okay, so here's the green all done. Now let's dip our foam brush into the blue paint and paint the other half of the paint plate. If you'd like, you can leave white spaces on the plate for clouds like I did on this one. I just left some white spaces if you want to include puffy clouds on your plate. But for this one, I'm just going to paint the whole thing blue. Okay, so it's going to look like that once you're done. And then you're going to want to set it aside to dry for a good hour or so. And you'll have a little bit of paint left over. You can either use these to paint another picture or you can just toss these. Okay, the next step, once it's dry, we're going to turn this into our loom. And this is really easy to do. You're going to need a pair of scissors. And if you need a grown up's help to do this, you can ask a grown up to help you. But let's start down at the bottom with the green grass. We're going to cut two little slits here at the bottom, about an inch apart. And you're going to take it right up to this rim of the plate, this inner rim of the plate. 
I'm just going to cut one and two. So you're going to have this little flap right here at the bottom. And then we're going to make some more slits at the top. So we're going to cut eight slits at the top. And this is where our tree branches are going to go. So we're going to cut these about an inch apart uh, between as well. So let's cut one, two. I kind of centered that. And then we'll do more slits down either side. Three four and then we'll go on the other side of the top five six seven and let's see where we are one more eight okay now that the loom is done we're going to warp the loom and that just means we're going to add string to it so that we can start our weaving now Find your brown yarn and find the end of it. We're going to start out just by taping the end to the back side of our loom with a little bit of tape. This will just hold it in place for us. There we go. Okay, and then you're going to start, when it's facing you, you're going to start with the left slit. So it's this one right here and you're going to bring the yarn through the left slit. Now we're going to, this is going to be our trunk down here and then our tree branches at the top. So we're gonna make a tree branch. We're going to go into the very first slit we made up at the top and we're going to go in the slit and around it and back down slit number two. And then we're going to go in the bottom slit. So it's gonna look like a slant across your plate like so. We're going to go in the left slit again to come back up and we're going to just continue on. We're going to go into the third slit, around to the fourth slit, down to the right slit at the bottom and then up the left slit again. Now let's continue on to the next slit, around and down, right and left. And now we have one more. We'll go into the slit number seven and come down slit number eight and around and down like so. Okay, now we got to fix this so it looks like a tree trunk. So we're going to take our yarn and we're just going to tie it around our strings here that we made and just keep wrapping it around with the end of your yarn and pull it a little bit tight, not too tight, but just to make the thickness that you'd like for your tree trunk to be. And we're just gonna keep wrapping it all the way around till we get it to the height that we would like. And just keep going up the strings. Okay, once you get it to the height that you'd like, we're going to tie this string off. So we're just going to tie it to one of these branches. Just tie a double knot. So we'll just go around one of the branches and through the hole and tie it, pull it tight. Let's do that one more time around the branch, through the hole and pull it taut. There. And we can just weave this in at the end. So don't worry about this string right here. Okay, now it's time to start weaving our tree. So you have 12 yards of green variegated yarn in your kit and grab your plastic darning needle and we're going to thread the needle. What I like to do is to wrap the th yarn around the needle and pull it really tight and then pull it out and then it's nice and thin for you to push into the eye of the needle. Okay, and you are ready to begin. Now, this is gonna take you a little bit of time. It's not gonna be the fastest project you've ever done, but it's really fun just to sit and weave this tree. So we're gonna go up and down between all of these tree branches. 
you don't have to use the darning needle if you don't want to. You can just use your fingers to do this, but I thought it was just a little bit easier to use the needle. Now we're going to take the needle and go under the first branch and over the second branch and just keep going under, over, under, and you can pull it through a little bit if you'd like. Now we're going to go over, under, and over, and we're going to just pull our yarn all the way through. Like so. Okay, and you're going to want to pull this until it gets to the very end of your yarn. So there is a lot of yarn here, so it is going to take a little bit of time to pull this through. Let's unravel this skein of yarn. And we're just going to pull it all the way through. Okay, we're, we pulled it all the way through until we got to the end. So we'll leave this here. And we'll attach this at the end when we're done with all of our weaving. Okay, so now we're gonna come from this side and go that way. So since we went over our last tree branch, now we're gonna go under our last tree branch and then over, under, over, under, and just keep weaving like this, over, under, and over. And then you're gonna pull it through to the other side. Until you get to the end of your yarn. And there you're there you go. Okay, we've got two done so far. You can kind of push them down a little bit as you go along. So let's do that again. Let's find our needle. And since we ended uh, over the last trunk or the last branch, now we're going to go under, over, under, over, under. Let's pull it through a little bit over, under, and over, and then just keep continuing on like this until you get it all the way up to the top of your branches. So this is kind of fun to do. So this is really fun to do, and the variegated yarn lets it have lots of different colors of green in your tree. Okay, there we go. We got three done so far. And you're just going to keep going back and forth and back and forth until you get up to the top of the plate. And then you're going to attach the yarns with some more, the ends of the yarn with more of the knots like I showed you with the tree trunk. And then when you're done, it's going to look like this. So you can pull your weaving up higher if you'd like and make it a little more fluffy so it's not so tight at the bottom, but you can move your yarn around. The last step is to attach your colorful flower buttons with a little bit of glue. So let's pour these out. You get lots of different colors. And then you're just going to take a little dab of glue. Let's see, I think I'll take this orange one. I'm going to put a little dab right on the tree and then press the button in place, like so. And then you're going to want to let it sit for a while to dry so the buttons don't fall off. Well, I hope you have fun weaving your tree, and once you're finished with it, you can hang it up in your room or wherever you would like. And again, I have the instructions on the back side of this paper that comes with your kit. And if you don't have the kit, I'll list all of the instructions as well as the kit contents, what you're going to need to create this craft, listed in the description box below. Well, thanks for joining me today. Have a wonderful day, everyone. Bye.